Hey, I'm Jonathan Sewell Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the boulevard in Enterprise, and I'm sitting in a 2020 Mazda CX-30, and I'm excited because this is one of my favorite features, Apple CarPlay. Before we jump into that, click the JSS down here for all of the information about Mazdas that I can offer, and ding that bell so you're notified first. Thanks for watching, and let's jump into it. First thing we got to do is plug in the phone. And of course you can use the USB up front or the one in the console. I'm going to plug in this one right here. And the first time you plug it in for Apple CarPlay, it's going to ask you up here to enable it. We're going to hit always enable. And then it's going to ask you on your phone, do you want to allow it while locked? Hit allow so that if your phone uh, goes to sleep or whatever the case is and the screen goes off, you can still um, see it right up here. All right, here's the view from the driver's position. And so it loaded automatically on this new dashboard or home screen, uh, so to speak. Um, now the dashboard, of course, I just reformatted this phone or, or upgraded to iOS 13. So I don't have anything playing, um, nor any location set on map. That's why it's, uh, just showing the whole United States here. Um, but I can hit my, my hotkeys here by my commander. I can hit the home button and it takes us to the layout. Now, traditionally and on previous generations or other Mazdas, uh, you would have just four icons. So usually this now playing is gonna be down here. And then the um, calendar and settings would be on your next screen. But because of this wide screen, you actually pick up a couple more icons, which is pretty cool. And of course, over here, it shows the most frequently used. And then it's showing uh, my LTE service, the time. So you notice that it's got these two dots right here. I don't have any more apps installed that would show over this way, but when I turn the uh, cursor over, it would go into this other dashboard, which of course was new for iOS 13. So I'll work on installing some more apps on this uh, phone, uh, but you can use the commander to scroll back and forth. This Mazda right here, if I click into it, will take me back to the uh, Mazda uh, Connect system. So we'll save that for later. And um, let's just click on maps again. And this opens up the whole. See, I didn't have location set. So let's hit always allow. And it's going to pull me up where we're at right now. Um, so this is us at the dealership. And I can search or look at destinations. Also can move around. And again, I'm just toggling this with the commander control. And it's real simple. Of course, you don't have touch on this uh, new system on the Mazda 3 or the CX-30 but you can just scroll around. Of course, here's a, a little joystick. You can you know, move around to see uh, where, I'm not exactly where I wanna go. I can hit this and move back around and do different things. I can always hit the home button to jump back. Uh, when I hit the uh, music button, you see it goes back to the regular uh, Mazda Connect system, which was on the um, FM radio. I'll go to source list scroll down here and interestingly enough it dropped apple carplay because there's no audio playing oh i know what to do you see it it's over here i forgot on this system see i gotta practice with it too and learn that when you're in this uh new system here let's go back to the mazda connect here and you see the apple carplay over here you just toggle to the right with the commander and it brings it back up so if you click out let's see i'm gonna hit that fm again go back to menu and hit home and it shows that i'm connected over here to apple carplay toggle with the commander to the right and it'll pull it back up and so if i want to click over here to music 
looking for your music. I haven't downloaded anything, so I could have you know some different stuff in my library uh, through Apple Music or whatever the case may be. Uh, go back to the home here, click over to phone, and pull up. Again, I don't have any favorites set. Have some recent calls, contacts. You can scroll through all that different stuff. The beauty of it all is with the same talk button that you have on the steering wheel, you can access Siri. Yes. And there she is. And again, part of this upgrade with iOS 13 is she is non-intrusive, so she just shows down here on the bottom. So it's one of those cool features uh, of having this. Now, of course, again, with iOS 13, we can scroll over here. Oh, Siri's listening to me. Cancel. Everything you need to know about Apple is on apple.com, but I can't show it to you while you're in the car. Thank you. So we'll cancel her. That was informative. And go over to the settings. And of course you have some do not disturb options, which are cool. Uh, just hit the go back button here or appearance, always dark or automatic. And here we are in the white mode. So I like this uh, being in this, you can turn, uh, have suggestions or show album art. So that's basically it. Of course, the more apps, the merrier. And uh, when you have music and all those good things, you can listen to podcasts, audiobooks, works with Audible, um, several. There's a good list of apps at apple.com that can go over all these features. If you have any questions or comments, just uh, drop them below or text me at 334-718-0504. Uh, I'm Jonathan Sewell Sells at Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard and Enterprise for this quick Apple CarPlay tutorial. And I really can't wait to see you in your own Mazda.